Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video showing you the latest version of the Matrix kernel, version 9.5 for the Nexus 4. As always, I'll put all the links in the description so you can go ahead and install this. If you've never tried the Matrix kernel on the Nexus 4, I heavily suggest you give it a go. It gives you a great balance between battery life and performance, and it's just going to get better, so definitely give it a shot. The first thing I want to show you is my settings in Trickster. So I'm going to open up Trickster right here. By the way, this kernel does come with a default undervolt. So there's no need to undervolt this. It already comes undervolted, which is pretty awesome. And in terms of everything else here, I'm using pretty much the stock settings. A few changes, which I'll mention right now. The minimum is 192 megahertz, which you'll probably notice is a lot lower than the stock Google kernel, which is 384. So you get a lot better battery life with this kernel because of that low frequency. That's, so that's pretty awesome. I've also changed the governor here to Wheatley, and Wheatley again is very good for battery life and performance. It's based off on demand, so it's pretty much like on demand, but it has a few more variables that you can customize, although I do leave it on stock. So those are pretty much my settings right there. Now, everyone always asks me about performance and battery life, and let me show you my battery life I got yesterday. I was so impressed with this, I just had to make a video on it. So let's check out, where are we, screenshots. And we'll start off with this one. So here we go, we'll zoom in right here. And I use this completely normally, you know, I didn't do anything different. I use my phone exactly how I normally use my phone. I had loads of Gmails, loads of WhatsApps, YouTube videos, all that sort of stuff, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff was all syncing all the time. I didn't change my usage. Now at the end of the day, I had 5% left and I was running for 14 hours, 36 minutes and 36 seconds. You can see right here, Tapper Talk, Chrome, all that stuff is all there. If I get out of this screenshot, go to the next one, you can see the graph. Now, granted, I was on Wi-Fi the whole time, but that was just my usage for the day. Sometimes I am on 3G, but this test right here, I was on Wi-Fi the whole time. So take that into account. You will get a little bit lower battery life on 3G because, you know, it's always searching for your signals and stuff like that. But um, yeah, now the big thing is the screen on time. And this is what is super impressive with this kernel. Check that out. Five hours and 23 minutes with... 5% remaining was it something like that that is the best battery life I've ever gotten on my Nexus 4 with this amount of usage It's really really impressive now Obviously if you play games and stuff like that you will get a little bit lower because games really take it out of it But nonetheless five hours 23 minutes that is absolutely fantastic for normal usage. So Brilliant, brilliant battery life on the Matrix kernel version 9.5. Moving on to performance, this kernel is a beast in that department as well. The UI is very smooth, apps are very quick to open. You can see I've run a Geekbench right here and it scored 2,381, which is a very, very high score. If I compare it to what the Nexus 4 normally gets on stock kernel, it scores 2,032. It absolutely beasts the uh, stock kernel, so very impressive from Matrix. Next up we got Antutu and again it scores very well, 21,075 which is a very good score. I think the stock Nexus 4 scores around 18,000 or something around that number. I also want to mention I'm not running an overclocked version. The CPU is stock frequencies, the GPU is stock frequencies, I didn't run the GPU overclock. So yeah, definitely give it a shot. Peace out.